Hi, it's Magnolia Blossom coming to you from my front porch because I want to talk to you about weeds. I've been out in this yard weeding flowers for about two hours today. I did get to plant about 40. Yes, I said 40 and that makes me very happy. Gladiola bulbs. Um, I ordered them last fall and they come and they send them when it's time to plant them. So I hope it's the right time. So I planted those 40 bulbs. But as I was out there weeding, after I planted my bulbs, because weeding seems to be a chore that you have to do if you want flowers to look pretty. But, why are some weeds weeds and other weeds are flowers? I had a backyard full of um, weeds, which we call blue bonnets, this spring, because we live in Texas and blue bonnets are our state flower. Anyway, that's beside the point. I have blue bonnets in the backyard, very pretty, and they are called, they are weeds, but they are called flowers. Then, there are some other weeds that want to grow in my backyard, especially some that grow up real tall and get that purple bloom on the top. They're called thistles. Hmm. I saw some in a ditch yesterday, and they had a big purple fluff on the top that was so pretty, but we call them weeds. Why? I don't know, but I think maybe because they have all those little stickly things on them and they prick you. But if you think about it, we have roses and they have thorns, and they're not called weeds. They're called flowers. Very pretty flowers. So does the smell make a difference? If they smell good, are they a flower? And if they don't smell at all or they smell bad, they're not a flower? That could be. Think about gardenia bushes. I used to have a gardenia bush behind me, but it got really sickly looking, so I cut it way down. So I'm not sure I'm gonna have any gardenias that smell so pretty, but they're not the kind of things that you can cut. You can cut like one, but when you cut it, you're actually cutting off part of the bush. So that doesn't make real nice cut flowers. But let's get back to weeds. What about Creepin' Charlie in your yard? Creepin' Charlie, well, in the yard, has a little tiny leaf on it and a purple flower. In my garden, hmm, that goes the neighbors. In my garden, there is something called Mexican heathers that the leaf looks about the same and gets a purple flower. Now the difference, here from Charlie grows in the grass and spreads all out. Mexican heather is sort of a nice little compact bush only lasts one year unless it's a very gentle winter. Very gentle winter it needs indeed. So I'm confused. You know the Indians used a lot of plants for medicinal. I mean the American Indians, Native American Indians I should say, used a lot of weeds for medicinal purposes. I'm sure they didn't think of them as weeds, they thought of them as valuable. I wonder what else in our society we deem, we deem as weeds and of little value, when in reality, if we got to know it better, maybe, just maybe, there was value in that, those other things too. People, people, I think all people are flowers. Yes, indeed, I think they're flowers. Well, I better go. So y'all have a nice day. Y'all come back again. Bye.